Both sides in the three-month dispute at the Greyhound Waste Company have been given a week by the High Court to sort out their differences. Two separate groups of protesters gathered outside the four courts today as the dispute was being discussed inside. Gardaí had their hands full at the four courts today as demonstrators supporting striking greyhound workers heckled non-striking workers. Non-striking workers are worried they'll lose their jobs after Greyhound Recycling warned that 400 jobs are on the line because no bins are being collected. They say they're being prevented from doing their jobs. And the experience of going into work has been a nightmare. People are trying to get in to work in the morning and they can't use the front entrance because it's been blockaded. We're being shouted at, shouted at, we're being abused, we're being spat at, some people have been assaulted. We've had to use an alternative entrance around the back of the building. But some protesting workers claim they've been locked out of work. We're not opposing people to try to do their jobs. We've nothing to do with them. It's Mr Buckley is stopping them doing their jobs. Our husbands were locked out. They did not have a choice. They were locked out. And I think that's very important that that is stated. The three-month dispute was sparked by pay cuts of 35%. Workers then rejected the company's offer of a 31% pay cut. Today, Greyhound went to the High Court to try to enforce injunctions to prevent illegal activity by some on the picket line. The company says 255,000 customers are affected and it's now a public health issue. This afternoon, both sides agreed to adjourn the motion for hearing for one week's time, during which detailed discussions will take place to try to resolve the matter. The judge thanked both sides for trying to resolve the issue in a constructive way and said she hoped for a positive outcome. Siobhan Bastable, the 5.30 at the High Court in Dublin.